Hello, my name's Scott Lester. I'm the manager of linear power applications here at Texas Instruments. Today I wanted to give you a quick overview of how do you measure the power supply rejection ratio of a linear regulator, or PSRR as it's more commonly known. Um, what is PSRR? Well, we start with our linear regulator. It has some output going to a load and some input voltage. And what we want to do is we want to look at how well this LDO attenuates input noise, how much of the noise on the input shows up on the output. To measure this in the lab, basically we have to recreate this event. We're going to bias our LDO up to our operating conditions. We're going to have some load out here, a resistive load, and we're going to bias this to some DC. Now what we have to do is somehow inject an AC signal into here to see how much we get on the output. The first guess might be to just simply put a signal generator in series. However, that typically won't work. Most bench signal generators are a very high impedance, and we won't be able to get any of this DC current through here to help power the output. So the typical setup is to add an inductor in series and capacitively couple our AC generator in. And now we have a summing node here that we can measure the voltage here, and we can measure the voltage here, and take the ratio of the two to get our derived PSRR. We need to capacitively couple the AC generator so that uh, it's not shorting out the DC supply, and we need to inductively couple the DC supply so it's not shorting out our AC supply. This setup typically works fairly well for low frequencies up to fairly high frequencies, uh, somewhere in the order, order of a kilohertz to maybe 500 kilohertz. At very low frequencies, though, we're going to start coming up with very large component values here, and we might want to change the test setup. Another approach to help eliminate that problem of using very large capacitors and inductors is to simply just drive this LDO with a power amplifier and then have summing nodes for your DC and your AC. Obviously, there's some more feedback networks here that I'm not showing. But this setup helps eliminate any of the impedance uh, interactions between these two and allows us to drive this LDO directly. And that's all I have. Thank you.